Thank you for watching SpectraLogic's series of how-to videos featuring StoreCycle. Today we will be considering a Spectra NAS device. There are no additional licensing costs when using SpectraLogic storage. From the StoreCycle dashboard, click on the gear icon and select Storage. This will take you to the storage location page, where you can easily edit and delete previously added storage locations. Select New Storage Location to get started with the configuration. The first thing you will need to do is create a name for the new storage location. Make sure the name can easily identify the NAS location you are setting up. For the description, Spectra recommends you describe which directory you're linking StoreCycle to. When setting up the cost per terabyte, it is important to be consistent across all storage locations. Use the same method to determine this calculation for every storage device. You do not have to fill in a department or cost per terabyte if you are not tracking tiered cost savings. Click Next and you will be brought to a configuration for the type of storage you are setting up. Choose Spectra NAS. Now you will choose whether you want to set up this location as a source or a target. Remember, when setting up a target location, it is recommended to use a lower cost storage system as the target. Once you have decided if this is a source or a target location, you will need to input the Spectra NAS management port. You can find this port by logging into the user interface for the Spectra NAS system you are setting up with SourceCycle. Once on the Spectra NAS user interface, you can find the management port by clicking configuration and then network. The data management port will be found in one of the five data port boxes. Input the IP address into SourceCycle. Now you will need to enter the username and password of the user that will be communicating with StoreCycle. Once this is entered, enter the UNC server path. If you do not know this information, you will need to contact your IT administrator. Once the UNC path has been entered, you will need to decide whether you would like to limit data transfers during peak hours. If you wish to do this, select the drop-down and choose Limit Transfers During Peak Hours, then configure the hours that work best for your data transfers. Click the Test Location button to make sure you have the storage location properly configured. If everything is set up correctly, you will see a check mark next to the Test Location button. Click Submit, and you have successfully set up a Spectra NAS device as a storage location. Thank you for watching our StoreCycle configuration video.